the national debt hitting the $20 trillion mark as President Trump signed a bipartisan bill temporarily raising the debt limit for three months. Joining us right now to talk about the national debt and much more is Arizona Senator Jeff Flake. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, we want to talk about the national debt. Uh, in particular, also want to talk about uh, where we think tax reform is going in the context uh, of, of the national debt. Do you think there's a, a, a tax reform package uh, to happen uh, this fall in a meaningful way, the, the way the Treasury Secretary just, just described? I do. I, I think by the end of the year we'll have it. Uh, I think uh, substantively we've got to certainly lower the corporate rate. We've got to be competitive globally. And, uh, you know, Republicans need to deliver on something. So uh, I'm glad to see the president pushing hard for it. And I think he's doing it the right way, approaching uh, some of the Democrats as well who are likely to be with us. On the corporate uh, side, uh, what, is the, what, what is the kind of number that you're thinking about? Well, I, I don't think it's uh, going to be to, at 15, where you know the early blueprints uh, called for a 15 percent rate. Uh, you simply can't uh, go that far without affecting the debt in a very negative way. So uh, my guess is somewhere between 20 and 25. That's what uh, most people are saying. And is this paid for? And, and what's the dynamic scoring of it going to look like? Well, you know, uh, I'm a supply sider. I do believe that certain tax cuts uh, produce economic benefits, which in, in, in turn lead to additional tax revenue. Not every tax cut, obviously, uh, delivers those kind of benefits. So that's what we'll be doing as we go along with this package, is seeing what kind of uh, dynamic effects we can have. Uh, obviously, if we're going to deal effectively with our $20 trillion debt, we've got to have economic growth and we can't have it if we don't have a conducive tax and regulatory environment right i think we've made some good moves the congress and the administration um, earlier this year uh, with regard to regulatory reform but we've got to have the tax package right as well senator can, can you explain we had a conversation with the treasury secretary yesterday in part about the pass-through issue and how you how you fix that to the extent that you can um, so that, so that we, you don't have individuals who try to pretend that they're corporations. Right. What kind of mechanisms have, have you heard or talked about uh, up there uh, or down there where you are now uh, about how to solve for that? Well, I know the, the Finance Committee is dealing with the, the inside, uh, inside baseball of that, how you actually do it. I think it can be done. You, you, you can't limit, uh, you know, the benefits of corporate tax reform simply to, uh, you know, corporations that are organized as such. So you, you've got to deal with the pass-through some way, uh, but by the same token, uh, I think if you uh, just simply take the structure that we have now, uh, we won't be able to deliver all those benefits without negatively affecting the debt. Yeah.